Ron Racco, I have to tell that story. Uh, Ron Racco was the head of Grateful Dead Records, and he had access to their bank account, and he went to the bank and took <laughs> literally everything, and it was not just Grateful Dead's money, it was Ugh. Kingfish money, too. Ow. And he left the country, Ugh. and they put a warrant out for him. But I ran into him, uh, so again, by accident, I don't believe in accidents, um, but I ran into him <laughs> up at Squaw Valley, and... And he was shocked because he was in hiding and he was out of the country for a long time. But here mm. he was in Squaw Valley uh, up in the Sierras. And uh, so he took me back to his flat. And because he felt guilty about everything, he gave me a rare print by this uh, photographer, mm. uh, Curtis, that did rare old American Indian photos from the 1800s. Mm. So he gave me that, and wow. I have, which I have to this day. But uh, I think Ra Ron Rakow eventually ended up doing time. Mm. for some of his uh, things he did. It's amazing how what you've just said happens to a lot, a lot of people. I mean, you know, you, you tr entrust these people. I mean, you as artists are on the stage, you're doing your thing, that's what you know. At the back of you, you've got your manager, you've got your account and you've got everything and you rely on these people and then suddenly you do all these tours and you come to pick up your money and it's not there. I mean, you it's, know, it's I can't so even, many times. I can't begin to tell you how many times that's happened. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it, like I said. Fortunately, that's not happening so much anymore. But you know, I had uh, uh, I have to mention one of the n best tours I ever had booked was with Albert King. You know, who who Stevie Ray Vaughan and everybody stole licks from. Mm. I had a whole tour book with Albert King and myself and Weir and Kingfish. It was a great great band. And it's from, of all the blues guys, it was one of the one of the guys I really wanted to play with. But John Shear, who was the Bill Graham of the East Coast, mm. it, um, he nixed it because uh, he was uh, in competition with this other guy that had booked it. So we didn't we weren't, weren't able to do the tour. Mm. And it was all booked and everything. We had to cancel it. Oh, and, let down. Yeah.